An energy superpower, I might suggest, doesn't import more than half the oil it uses. Just a thought, call me crazy. An energy superpower might not be importing, it used to be more than half, it's roughly half. Ontario East imports all the oil it's using from Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, Nigeria, Kazakhstan, and a declining amount from Norway, because the Norway, Norwegian North Sea oil is going down. So we import about half the oil we use. The uh, Hibernia is mostly exported to off Newfoundland Labrador. We have, we have conventional oil as well as non-conventional uh, oil sands production. Now the oil sands production, we're told, is, is the greatest thing that ever happened. Now, there is an argument to be made that can, and it was made not by me or even initially by Tom Mulcair, actually, it was made by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development in their 2008 report to, to Canada. This is an elite think tank of the wealthy countries on Earth. And I was at that, by that point, I was leader of the Green Party and gearing up for the election campaign and was fascinated to hear that the OECD that I regard as, you know, an elite rich club kind of conventional establishment advice was noting that Canada really needed to price carbon and stop subsidizing carbon. The history of the oil sands is not a history of bold entrepreneurs willing to take large risks. The history of the oil sands is a history of federal and provincial subsidies. The history of the oil sands is Ralph Klein at the provincial level choosing the lowest royalty rate for production of any country on earth, 1%. At that time, Venezuela was 70%.